Emergency crews are shifting from search and rescue to recovery after deadly tornadoes ripped through several states over the weekend. Kentucky was the hardest hit state with dozens killed and thousands of buildings destroyed. The work is facing a hitch there as the region is now dealing with some major storms. It is Tianzhen has more from the city of Mayfield. This church in Mayfield has been turned into a community center with locals making food for survivors and receiving donations, including clothes, blankets and other supplies. Rosa has been coming here for meals ever since the candle factory where she worked collapsed over her head, almost taking her life. We heard strong winds and the air entering inside, so we grabbed onto each other and held tight. We made like a circle, and I think that's what protected us. But we were trapped under the rubble, and we were all shocked and terrified. Frankly, I thought I was going to be stuck there. I didn't think I would make it out alive. She was lucky to be pulled out alive, but eight of her colleagues did not make it. Now without a car or a job, she goes back to her dark house without power worried about the future of her family and three children. This was the family house for the Andersons since 1993, but it took only 15 minutes for a tornado to take it all away. We've been through a lot of storms, nothing this severe, but we've never had any damage or any problem. So we thought, yeah, sure, you know, we're, the warnings are come, but it's really not going to, you know, have any effect on us. And then our daughter called and said, the tornado has come and take shelter. He says the extent of help and support they've been getting from others is overwhelming. Of course, they have a lot of personal belongings in the house, valuables, so we help them get them in a trailer, get them to a secure location out of the weather, uh, locked up, um, and we're just removing some of the debris. The house is gonna be torn down, but the insurance assessor hasn't been through yet, so we gotta wait another day or two before we tear it completely down. They are just one of many church groups as well as volunteer organizations from several states helping out. But before they can rebuild, infrastructure crews have to assess the damage to the power, water and gas systems. During his visit on Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden vowed to provide any support needed for the state's recovery, which is certain to be a long one. It is Tianshan Mayfield, Kentucky.